Hey guys, what is um, up? Today we are talking about the light bar that I installed on my YZ250F um, without a battery. And I'm gonna explain how I've done it. Um, it's not fully wired yet. Waiting on two connectors for it to be able to be fully functional, but it does work at the moment off of a battery. I'm just waiting on pieces to get it to where it doesn't. It works without the battery. Um, so, yeah. And so basically, pretty much everything for this uh, light bar was bought at Track Supply, except for the little tiny connectors and the switch. Um, so, yeah. Here is the light bar I bought. It is a 7.25 inch, uh, 36 watt LED light bar. Um, it's meant to be powered by a battery but you can also do it through um, a different component on the motorcycle. Now as well as the light bar that I bought from uh, Tech Spy, I also bought all the red and black wiring as well as these butt connectors on there. They're about 12, almost 12 dollars each. So not bad but yeah. And they just heat shrink up to this and you need to make sure they're tight whenever you're doing this. But um, the way I installed this light bar was I bought clamps from Tractor Supply. Now they're a little big and they come with this little rubber circle inside of it. Whenever you purchase it, you're going to um, want to wrap that around your bar and tape it together. That way it stays. And then put your bar clamp over that because it helps give it a little more uh, grip. And then um, you're going to want to, if you have bark busters, you probably want to loosen up your bark busters like I did um, to help fit it on, have everything loose, that way it all fits on together pretty easily. And then you're going to want to take the mounting bracket off of the light bar, that way you can screw everything on and then mount the light bar back up to the mounting bracket, which is mounted to the bar clamps, and then from there, you're gonna wanna run your wiring wherever you're gonna run it. Now, it's gonna go behind the uh, number plate eventually once I get the connectors. And then it's gonna, as you can tell, I have a, a switch. Now, this is a switch off the 110 because I bought a different switch and didn't like how it looked on here. So I'm gonna put the different switch on the 110. But the way it's set up is off is actually on and on is off for it. So that's kind of annoying, but as long as you know that, you're not gonna have a problem. Um, so yeah, but basically it's a, the on off switch is a split in the red line, uh, the hot line, which is, is black and green. So green, it's the split where it comes back into the red. And this runs all the way to where ever it's gonna connect either to the battery or to the uh, spot on the bike, uh, which is the black line. Set. Now whenever you run it under the uh, number plate, it's going to come around and then it's going to pop right into the top of this. There's a little rubber, um, little rubber gasket, so you're going to pop out on the left and right side. One side is going to be the positive, one side is going to be the negative. And you can have these little brackets that you're going to have to solder onto the end of the wire. It'll like basically slide down in there and they're only like six bucks on ebay and so that's why i opted for that because you can put a battery in this bike in the back back in here on these newer uh yz2ds it'll have there's a spot where you can put a um battery and not have to worry about it um falling out but batteries for this bike are about 90 to 110 dollars so basically the cost of the light bar and the mounts together and so, yeah, the cheaper option is to order the little pieces on eBay, which I'll put a name up into the corner, but I'm waiting on them. They're supposed to be here tomorrow. They're supposed to be here today, but they're sitting in Atlanta still. So those should be here tomorrow. And when they get here tomorrow, I'm just gonna have to basically solder them on at the end of the wire and uh, plug them in. And so they should only work whenever the bike is running. This way you don't have to charge a battery. It runs only when it's running. Um, 
Now these little pieces I'm buying only work for about 2014 bikes to 2018 or 2020 bikes. Um, uh, so they don't work on the older bikes if you're trying to do it on the older one. Uh, but yeah, and it produces enough um, watts to actually run the light bar. Um, so yeah. Also, the way I've been testing to make sure my wiring works. Whoop. The way I've been testing to make sure the wiring works is I have a battery and I've basically been putting black to negative and the red to the positive and having it turn on and see if it actually works. Um, now, you if you do it the same way I've connected it with these butt connectors, make sure they are tight and well done or else they'll come out. And also whenever I have everything here and I know it all works with the bike running and everything, I'm going to take uh, electrical tape and basically let's go take at least these parts together. I don't know if I'm gonna do all the wire, but at least the part where it's connecting, I'm gonna do it in electrical tape. Cause the same way I did on the um, 110 was I did this and electrical taped it. Um, when I did the ECU and so yeah, that's how I'm gonna run it. And then here's a quick disconnect. I'll probably electrical tape this just to make sure it doesn't come apart. But, like, literally just pops right out. So, if I ever needed to change this out, it's pretty quick. I don't have to scrap the entire light bar. Push it right back in there. That's one of the nice things about buying it from Tractor Supply is, uh, it's local. You don't have to wait for anything to be ordered other than the little pieces that you put in the back. Or you can buy our entire wiring harness. It's pretty long because it's meant for a car there, but and attach it straight to the battery, no problem. Um, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, so once the, uh, we'll cut back once the um, new connectors get here, which is hopefully tomorrow, but if not tomorrow, it'll be the next day. I really hope it is tomorrow though. So yeah. But uh, yeah. This is how, how I'm doing my light bar setup. Um, pretty cheap, uh, especially compared to buying one that's already set up to fit your bike. It can actually, this actually can be cheaper than buying one that's meant for your bike already and already has all the wiring. So the wiring's not too expensive there and the butt connectors aren't too expensive there. I do recommend getting at least two, three packs of butt connectors because you will mess up and have to redo it. Parts of it, trust me. I actually messed up the first time wiring this all and had to completely scrap it and rewire it all. So, not very fun. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, I'll cut back whenever they get here and yeah. All right guys, so I forgot to film it, but I did get the uh, everything wired in. I had to redo it. I had to solder the joints and put shrink wrap over it instead of using the little connectors I was originally using because I wasn't getting good connection. But it does work, and I will cut to a clip of it um, turning on and off, of course, and working. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it does work. Uh, if you're looking for the connectors, they are a um, this diagnostic port connectors for the 2014 to 2020, I believe. As you can tell, they go right to the top. I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit and probably zip tight to that, but of course, they, it works now, so we're gonna cut to that video, and with that, peace.